Okay, this is a tutorial for converting hard subs into soft subs. I've been conducting a project for a few weeks now to convert hard subs for a particular anime to soft subs and try and clean up the translation as best I can, not being a native speaker. And so I'd like to document that process. I've done 24 episodes and we are now at the 25th episode. Here is here is my process. So we're going to be using a tool called Video Subfinder. This will all be uh, linked in the description. So let's go ahead and load up the video. We are going to look for subs on. You can adjust the search window here. And there are, of course, a number of settings for trying to find the various hard subs in this video. Um, I fiddled with a lot of them, and none of them seemed to do much of anything, so I mostly kept the stock settings here. So once your video is loaded in, go ahead and click Run Search, and it will look through the video, try and find subs, and split them off as separate images. This is going to take a little while, so I will come back when it's done. Okay, so we're back, and the process has finished. So it's gone through the whole video. And if we go to the directory video subfinder was in, you will see in the RGB images folder that we've... that the application's basically sort of broken out all the images it could find that have hard subs on them. Unfortunately, in this process, you're going to get a lot of false positives, like here, and then we skip out. Yeah, just... So you're going to have to go through all these images and find the subs and delete the non-sub images. What I would recommend is copying this folder to your desktop because you are inevitably going to delete some by mistake. Then open this up and just delete everything that is not a hard sub. You're going to get around 400 or so of these of which, okay, so we got 370. About 150, I'd say, in a 24-minute episode are actually going to be hard subs. So you'll have to go through a, a fair bit, um, but it's a fairly rote process. Um, so when I'm done with this, I will proceed to the next step. Okay, we've looked through all our RGB images here, and now all we have in this folder are images that have hard subs on them. So if we go back to Video Subfinder here and go to the OCR tab, we click that button and it will go through RGB images now and sort of split out the background and the text and hopefully create clear text images for us that we will then OCR in the next step. This is again going to take a couple minutes, so when this is done, I will come back. All right, the OCRing process is complete in Video Subfinder. So if we go back to our tool chain, we'll open up our second app, G Image Reader here. And let's go and navigate to the folder that did this. All right, so in Video Subfinder, all these images, which were split out from RGB images, are going to be in text images. So if we open that folder up, right, so we have basically every hard sub we could find in this video split out on its own image here. And we will highlight all these, and we are going to batch convert them. Now, I spent a lot of time in this app, and I don't actually know where to set the output. So the output is going to be in the same text images folder. And it will go fairly quick. I mean, we've got 157 or so to do here, but it um, doesn't take as long as other parts. So when this is back, I will resume. OK, all of our images have been converted from image to text. So if we go to Video Subfinder, we go to the text images folder. Right, this is the folder that had all the images here. And you can see now there are a bunch of text files, and each one of those text files has a timestamp from Video Subfinder 
and a particular text for that stamp. So let's go ahead and take all these, cut them out, and put them in text results. We're done with GI image, so we exit out of that. And then we just need to create sub from text results here. And then we will go and drop that in our subfolder. This is episode 25, so we will save that. So now we have a subtitle for this episode. But um, now is actually the, the hard part. So what I do is uh, I do a couple things. First thing we're going to load up is the last episode. I've got the timing correct for the opening, so I'm just going to copy that in. And then I have the timing for the ending. So I'm just going to copy that. I want all that. You can do this in Aegis Sub, which we will use later. Um, I just find it simpler to use Notepad++ for this. Don't worry about the um, numbering here. Aegis Sub is going to sort us out for that. So now if we go and open up the hard-coded episode, which was 25, I go through the whole episode, and I'm going to look at each line to, let's see, get the, make sure we got a, a good copy over. What I've noticed a lot is that this application struggles a lot with Ys, and we'll usually make Vs, so... And I will try and do my best on the grammar. Um, I don't speak Japanese, so but I can usually get a good sense of what these subtitles are going for. So this is probably going to take the most amount of time. So once I've gone through all these subtitles, we will resume. OK, we've completed the process of going through every line in the subtitle. And it's as good as it's going to get. So this is basically the hardest part done. So let's go ahead and open this up in Aegis. Aegis Sub, of course, very powerful program, of which I know very little about. Um, mostly I just use it to do a quick spell check, which I'm going to do now. Okay, with the spell check complete, let's just go ahead and open up our raw file here. Now, you may get lucky, and the subtitle timing from your hard-coded source will match that of your raw source. In this case, we are not so lucky. Uh, so what I usually do is I try and find the first subtitle, which is here. And I'm going to play and just see how long the difference is. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about getting a perfect sync. I just want things sort of roughly in place. Yeah, so it's about, about like 1,800 there. Maybe more like 1,700 milliseconds behind. So I know the ending is synced up, and I know the beginning is synced up, but the stuff in between needs to be properly timed, so I'm going to go ahead and shift this all 1500 here. And it should be sort of roughly in line. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. And then, right, because of the way we sort of captured images from Video Subfinder, we won't capture the title. Uh, so I just screen grabbed that earlier, and we will go and find this line. It's 144. Um, so ch -ch 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 -ch, just skip ahead here. So we'll go ahead and insert a subtitle at this video time after this. And the name of the episode is Final Decision, which I'm not going to be able to spell unless I look at it. This is episode 25. And this will last until the title goes away. So that's this.
this timestamp, which is 147.98. Okay, and um, that's about it. So that's sort of the whirlwind tour. Um, the next step really on this is to, to get someone who actually knows Japanese to look at it and help me with the timing. Um, but for the most part, it's complete. You can definitely watch episode 1 to 25 and have a, a rough understanding of what's going on. And that's it for me. Bye.